my advice would be, whether you're starting out or in business, is to um, stop basically lowballing your business to satisfy cheap people. I've said this before, said it last year, I had a client of mine, and it was a uh, business uh, uh, investment banker, and he said, man, you guys are basically designing and printing and manufacturing and installing custom tailored suits for vehicles, which is what everybody in this room does, whether it's some shape, form of fashion. And I guess every industry has this, but this is not a race to the bottom. And I feel like that at times it is. This is not a really big industry. If you look at our industry, I mean, it's big, but it's not big. We're not plumbers, electricians, you know what I mean, cabinet makers, but we, in a way we are. But it's a, sm it's a smaller niche group where I don't think we'd ever be unionized. But uh, the point is, maybe we should, but the point is, is that take, just take pride in your work and make sure you're charging what you need to charge. And also let your clients know that in order for you to grow too, you're going to have to raise your prices if things go on. Labor's more expensive. Insurance costs more, right? Everything's going up, but yet everything else goes down. It makes no sense. So just take pride in your work and quit satisfying cheap people. I can beat anybody's price, right? Of anything. So.